Hello? Is everybody ready yet? All right, then today we are going to explore the fourth dimension. So before we start, I would like to review. So here's a one dimensional line. It's a one dimensional shape, a square, and the last one is a cube. Well, this is not really a cube. It's just a representation of a cube on a two-dimensional monitor. Well, what about the fourth and the fifth dimension? Well, this is what they look like. But today, we're not going to talk about the fifth dimension. So I'm going to explain about the fourth dimension. So it has four sides, X, Y, Z, and W. So the four sides I haven't got named yet because scientists are trying to find a perfect term. Well, here is the hypercube. Well, it doesn't look really like this so i'm gonna explain why does it look like that so first we'll go through a projection which is called the oblique projection so where is it does anybody have a piece of paper and a pen no okay first draw a square then another square and this is the result this is a cube so we start from that cube draw another cube and connect all the edges together so eventually this is the hypercube but we also has a kind to draw a cube all right so everything in the back will appears to be smaller so you still start with a square but instead draw a smaller square and we still got a cube is that correct so the same thing happens with a hypercube and just draw a cube then draw another smaller cube and connect all the edges the result is that hypercube so what if we unfold it into the third dimension well, we get this net so this is the net of a hypercube which is made up uh, here's a cubes but one is hidden inside so we cannot see it so actually all of these cubes has the same volume well because they look a bit different right so is this a cube course you might say no but it's actually a cube well this is something pretty simple like can you unfold a cube into six squares it's something not usual something is usual that is usual so here's the pattern of dimension so the pattern is two of one of these shapes all of these shapes are made from lower dimensional shapes and adding two of them so it's kind of like an even pattern well are these shapes real well the answer is yes but we cannot understand that because of the lack of dimension in this universe However, they can still help us. Like they can entertain us with movies, help us learn more things in math. It might be fun. We can travel with math. And the last thing is to scan electrons. So, how do we scan electrons? Who knows? All right, so I'm gonna answer it. So we can scan it using four-dimensional scanning 
So to get these images, they have to go through four progresses. Starting from strain matching to visual imaging. And here's the visual imaging you can see right over there. Well, these shakes look amazing. They're real, but they can help. And also they can help us a lot of things. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you, Tony.